Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a new video for you all today. Today I bring you 10 hours of anti pking at Rune Rocks in 46 Wilderness. And as I'm waiting for these PKers to show up, I will also be mining Rune Ore every second of this 10 hour video. So hopefully we get some awesome PKs and a good calculation of how much Rune Ore you can mine here in a time span of 10 hours with of course 99 mining and a dragon pickaxe now this video is being brought to you by the iron man and this is the first ever time i've anti pk on him so i am a little nervous but also excited and will also be on my 20 defense pure mystic seer scouting and hopefully killing some lower level bots and pkers before we get started into today's video though we do have some words from our incredible sponsor today road to mastery road to mastery is a new action-packed fantasy adventure inspired by dnd &D and game gaming elements, where a game system takes over the real world and causes an apocalypse. Join Jack the Brawler as he pummels everything that gets in his way with his fists on Road to Mastery and Power so that he might survive in this new reality. Alone, surrounded by monsters, armed with his fists, it's time to fight. Jack Rust was a delusioned biologist with a PhD almost when an extraterrestrial AI calling itself the system invaded Earth and thrusts it into a world of aliens and violence. The least Jack hoped for was gaining access to magic. Nope. Even worse, the system also spawned a forest dungeon around him and a goblin in his face. Armed with nothing but his fists, Jack must grow strong enough to survive hordes of monsters. He needs to return to civilization and find out what the heck is going on. He might also get magic or not. Surprising himself, Jack discovers that violence is fun. In this battle-ridden new world, Jack finds the life he always dreamed about. He won't just survive, he will thrive. And if you guys enjoyed what you just heard there, make sure to click the link in the description and you can have access to Road to Mastery right away. A huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, here we are at 46 Wilderness. As you can see, we are using the looting bag to pretty much deposit all of this runite ore so it'll save me a lot of inventory space and I can still get a good 28 ore every inventory. Now I don't have access to a lot of really good weapons on the Iron Man such as Dragon Claws or Armadillo Godsword or Void Waker but I am using the old school Dragon Dagger as well as the Tentacle Whip and the Rune Crossbow with 100 fresh Dragon Bolts E that I had just made for this video. With this setup combined with Vengeance I did have a pretty good chance to kill anyone who might attack me while I'm making this video, just mining a rune ore for 10 hours. So we should run into some PKers. And I know what you're thinking, what about all the low-level mining bots that run this area and all the low-level PKers, the Venezuelans, the snakeskin bandits, you know, what about them? Well, I do have a 20 defense peer who's about 80 combat who can attack virtually anyone other than level threes. His name used to be Mystic Seer, but due to today's sponsor, his name is now Jack Rust, so don't mind that. But he was also logged in after our one and he'll be taking care of business uh, as it goes for the lower levels if I happen to run into anyone. Pretty early on into the video I did happen to run into my very first victim and I was actually AFK while this happened so he could have killed me had he hit a little bit higher but his burning amulet probably prevented him from doing that so let's go all gigolo J1 defense style. I should say 20 defense style but then again I can't even spell the word later but anyway he is dead now and uh, yeah I ran into another guy doing a clue but I left him alone and I just carried on mining the rune ore one hour into today's video. I was definitely seeing a lot more action on my 20 defense peer than my main account, the Iron Man, and I did run into this lower level. Uh, originally, me and him were teaming up on this guy, but the guy ran away, so I decided to kill him instead. So we ended up getting a 56k key from the first guy and 192k from the low level. Now, it isn't 100% necessary, but it is very helpful to have a second account logged in at this area because you can clear two worlds instead of one and therefore I can pretty much always be mining rune ore instead of just hoping to run into some. So keep that in mind that will definitely up our rates because we only got 692 rune ore in the very first uh, 10 hour video of mining it in the mining guild and I definitely want to get a lot more than that in this 10 hour. Even though I won't have any mining boosts I should have a lot more privacy. If you're curious how I was banking I was using the Gorok teleport tabs that you can buy from last man standing and I did a little bit of LM 
LMS in this video, probably less than 15 minutes, and that gave me uh, access to plenty of teleports for the 10 hours, since it takes so long to fill up an inventory. But we are nearing two hours into the video, haven't ran into anybody on the Iron Man yet, but Mystic Seer is thriving. Uh, we have a two versus one coming up here, which is definitely a little rough when you're on bruise and, you know, you don't really have a special attack weapon after I use my DDS specs. I'm really just left with the range and the mage, but the rune crossbow pulled through for me and we killed that guy to the north. Now we just have to kill his friend and luckily they are lower levels and I'm ready for anything. I'm proud to say I had zero deaths in this video on both accounts. That's a first. So there's five keys stacking up. Let's go ahead and open these up. Uh, most of these keys aren't going to be worth too much. Uh, keep in mind, these are all lower levels, so they're not going to be risking a lot, but I think I made about a solid 300k from all those keys, so I will take it. And there's a crash star. I did see quite a few of these during this 10 hour grind, but I didn't mess with any of the star miners because, you know, you don't want to make someone lose their stardust. That's not nice. Mystic Seer was clearing the way, though, all these one itemers. Some of these people are real players, others I think are gold farmers, and others are definitely bots. Uh, I think I ran into probably a total of 10 bots that I couldn't attack, and then there's probably another six that I was uh, just killing on a rotation, it seemed. And here we have our first PKer for the Iron Man account. This is actually the first ever time I've anti-PK'd on this account, and this is my first ever fight. So this guy's not kidding when he says it's an honor, because he's the first one to ever fight me. Well, we have an RCB versus a Ballista, a Toxic Staff versus a Tentacle Whip, but again, I uh, was on normal spellbook because I had just lost membership. So there goes my vengeance, right? Uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult to do now, but he is risking HP. And the DDS is trying its hardest, but I just really couldn't get the specs landed to where I needed them to be. I just kept on getting him to low HP, but I think he really wanted to kill me. And uh, I was trying to pray switch uh, so that he wouldn't really teleport or run away. And somehow, some way, I did get the kill, but I couldn't pick anything up. Fast forward two minutes, and this guy re-geared, this time with an RCB. Maybe he's taking notes from what I'm doing, but I had vengeance, and I was extra ready, and that DDS pulled through for me in the second round. So we are 2-0 and now, and all that loot, uh, again, couldn't pick it up, then have an account logged in to that world to pick it up, uh, but again, it's it's alright, I'm really just here for the rune ore, and Mystic Seer can, can get some more PKs for me, I guess. On a pretty good streak with the Iron Man so far, I didn't expect that to go so well, but here we go, quick G Mall. I love that feature, the RCB hit into the G Mall spec, it is beautiful, one of the reasons why I still PK with a Granite Mall, even though I am 60 attack. Well, we have a different PKer now, a lot of people showing up now, uh, so the Iron Man is yet again in battle, and the DDS, well, I'm just gonna go for it here, and luckily for me, it just did not want to stop hitting high, and we did get yet again another PK. DDS is just so powerful, I gotta start using it more on my main account, but I wasn't able to pick it up again, but don't worry, uh, Rune Light did track how much I PK'd, and that guy, I guess he didn't lose anything, because he can just run back and pick up everything, and try again, I suppose. Three hours into the video so far, and we are averaging a good rate of Runite or keep on running in to PKers that we're killing, and the occasional crash star makes for some nice scenery. I was running a little bit low on Gorok teleports though, so at this point in the video, I did take a small little break, and I did some last man standing, this time on the Iron Man account, and I did get some more tabs so that I can continue to bank quickly at the Rune Ore. Another good alternative to this is to be on the Ancient Spellbook and just use runes to teleport up, but I needed vengeance, so I didn't want to be on different spellbook or have to bring a magic skill cape or anything like that. And one thing you might notice is I'm not picking up any gems that I do receive while mining, because that is just not worth the money when you look at the price of a runite ore compared to even a diamond, so it's not worth uh, picking any of those up. I actually did manage to run into someone who was going for the Mage Arena 2 cape as I was banking and running back on Mystic Seer, and I just literally one-hit them, and to my surprise, they had a huge amount of runes on them. 35,000 airs, 14,000 fires and 600 bloods, as well as almost a set of full mystic. I do feel a little bit bad about that, but it is the wilderness. It is definitely dangerous. Plus, it's another 500k to the price check, and we are now halfway into today's video. Big thank you to you guys who are still watching this far in. We did acquire an easy, medium, and hard clue scroll, so I will be completing those and opening up the caskets at the very end of the video. Occasionally, I did run into one-item PKers on Mystic Seer who just bring an RCB or a magic 
Magic Shorpo, and they're really just there to kill bots, uh, and I did kill most of them. They don't really risk too much, though. I did encounter a really weird team here. I mean, this guy, one of them had an adamant square shield. Another guy had the uh, fang and a combat bracelet. I mean, I don't know what was going on, but they didn't want to 1v1, so I definitely wasn't down for two versus one, not at that combat tier, so I just decided to almost kill one of them in singles and then escape from the other one, but it was a good attempt anyway. At this point in the video, I banked my black dehyde chaps and I got the Varrock plate skirt just for a little bit more prayer bonus and defense bonus in case I ran into any other PKers, but I really wasn't seeing too many people on my Iron Man compared to my pure. Well, there's nothing like a big old lawnmower to interrupt this voiceover. Be back in an hour. And we are back. Yeah, much more quiet now. There's another uh, last man standing round done. I needed some more Gorok teleports in order to finish this video, so I did a little bit of that. And here we have a lovely spider killing a bot. It's always good to see. That's the downside of being 10 HP. It's real easy to die out here. And yet again, another PKer on Mystic Seer. This guy was holding three keys, and we did go the distance. Uh, it was a really good fight. And yeah, it's nice to inherit all those keys. Let's go ahead and open them up. Jack Rust just keeps on coming. Decent keys. I think the most expensive one there was like 77k, so I'll take it. Actually, I take that back. It was 140k. I guess that guy ended up killing a Lava Dragon PVMer. But here we are back at the Runite Rocks, uh, just killing some one-itemers here. Uh, decent keys from some, not so much from the others. But we are nearing the end here. Uh, for those of you who are interested in the botting aspect of this, there was a few bots in the level 90s, and uh, I did run into one who was level 101. And of course, I'm talking about mining levels here. I did the math on the old school RuneScape uh, XP calculator, and if they started at 85 mining and they get to like 92 or 93, that's about 300 mil profit. So I can only imagine the profit of the people who are in the hundreds. Uh, for example, just a few bots that I looked up, they're definitely bringing in billions of GP just from these two rocks in 46 wilderness. Since this is 46 wilderness, it would be interesting to have like a level 40 or 50 mage account that just could kill the level threes out there. That would uh, be some profit. Some of them are in the levels of like 10 or 14 combat, so it really just depends. But here we are just continuing to kill some rune rock miners as well as the occasional uh, PKer who's also doing the same thing that I'm doing, but I always have to fight back. Like I said, zero deaths in this video. Very proud of that. You don't really tend to run into the most experienced PKers out here, but uh, yeah, we did get a 90k key, and then the person that we killed with the snakeskin bandit, 460k from that person, and they did actually come back. I guess they were angry that they died, and well, they died again, so it's no problem. Jack Russ just taking care of business. I will be changing the username back to Mystic Seer in a month, but for now, I guess uh, it's free advertising for the sponsor today. Well, it's one thing you don't see every day in 46 Wilderness, somebody risking a blue party hat. This was in a total level world. This peer was having difficulty finding the Zamorak wizard. They ended up finding it, but at the same time, they found my Dragon Dagger special attacks, and it didn't go so well for them. They might have lost that clue scroll. I apologize if they did, but we did PK a blue party hat. That's a first time uh, thing for myself. I certainly felt like JoJo 3000 in the old days, but uh, yeah, I couldn't pick it up. So I mean, PK to blue party hat, but could not pick it up. Luckily, it's only 5k, so that's all right. You guys ever think those are going to go back up in price? Probably not, but it would be nice to have some rares like that in old school RuneScape. All right, if you didn't catch it, there was a guy in Black Mystic running by my Iron Man, so of course I had to log in to the pure and chase him down. Luckily, he didn't get too far, and he was going for that Mage Arena 2k. I gotta be honest, if I spent 10 hours on multiple accounts just hunting down people that were going for this cape, I could make some serious cash. We do remember remember earlier on in the video that we got a 450k PK from one of these guys. And you know, I do actually feel a little bit bad about killing them, but they just bring so much runes that it's hard to pass up, honestly. So we did get that guy uh, down. Unfortunately, didn't kill him with the spec, but the RCB took care of the rest. And from the loot key, it's a lot more blood runes than the first guy. 1500, but not as much elemental runes. But either way, I will take it. It makes for a great key, and it will certainly add on to the price check. And as we are in our 
our last hour of the grind. A lot more kills coming in from the 20 defense pure. That was a lot of the fun in this video that I had. Uh, didn't really run into too many high level PKers, as you can imagine, at this spot on the Iron Man. And since I wasn't willing to scroll up on that account, uh, Mystic Seer made it so that it was just a lot of uh, fun, a lot of great PKs, a lot of great fights, and again, zero death. So it's all profit. We're going to be adding up all the profit from the PKs on both accounts. Even though I didn't get to pick anything up on the Iron Man, it's still nice to see how much uh, we would have made if I was able to. So yeah, I mean, this was a really interesting experience, a lot more enjoyable than the Mining Guild just because of all the PKing and anti-PKing. And I really look forward to seeing what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, if you enjoy videos like this where I'm on multiple accounts, make sure to let me know and I can definitely keep on adding to that idea and, uh, you know, work on different things around the wilderness and around the game in general. I'm not really one for being on four accounts and killing bandos or anything like that, but I do like creative ideas like this where I get two things done at the same time and it makes for an extra longer video for those of you who enjoy the longer ones and a little bit more profit for me as well. So that's always good. Looking at all this footage, gosh, I didn't realize how many people I was killing, but yeah, these keys are just continuing to stack up and no one really was a threat. It's not like I ran into any low level hundreds who had a uh, really good gear that I couldn't outmatch. And even if I did, I always have the ability to ice barrage them and get away. So that's always good. It's, it's really easy to get away with that freeze method that I talked about in my Revenant Demon and Cyclops video. But yeah, those keys are going to continue to stack up. And on the side, I was just wrapping up the final 10 minutes on the Iron Man. And here we have it. Loot from 10 hours of anti-PKing and mining runite rocks has been completed. Now, remember, we got 692 runite ore from the very first 10 hour video of mining rune rocks in the mining guild. So let's see how much rune ore I got in a time span of 10 hours with no bonuses and a lot less competition. And there is the medium and the hard clue caskets. We'll open those up soon. All right, so in 10 hours of mining at the Rune Rocks and Deep Wilderness, I did manage to get 980 rune ore. That is almost 300 more than I averaged in the mining guild, which means if we go ahead and price check everything, that price check is 10.9 mil. And if you rounded that up to 11 mil, that's almost 1.1 mil GP every hour here. That is not bad at all. Granted, I did have a dragon pickaxe and 99 mining, so keep that in mind. Another 150k from the two clue scrolls. I will take that. Nice collection log with the enchanted top. And just to show the amazing blue party hat PK, as well as everything else, there's the rune light loot tracker. Looks like I made three mil in PKs that I wasn't able to pick up, but that's still pretty cool that no, you know, no deaths and no uh, profit lost. And just nice to see some kills in the Iron Man for once. I did manage to kill about 37 people on my 20 defense pier, but I only got 29 of it tracked on the loot tracker. So I'm not sure how much money this actually is, but let's just call it four mil. So looks like uh, overall profit from this video is close to 15 mil. The runeite ore will be used for skilling on the Iron Man, of course, and I'll just use the GP on the pier for something else. Well, a big thank you to you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to check out that sponsor if you want to help out the channel further. And a big thank you to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to our Hydra tiers, Matthew Stivers, Angel's Blood, and Deception Z. Thank you guys. You are incredible. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.